Sea turtles have been around since dinosaurs roamed the planet, but with a majority of the world's species endangered, that might not be true much longer. Florida is home to five species, so it's a natural choice for a long-term study. But until UCF scientist Kate Mansfield developed an innovative way to track adolescent turtles, little was known about the early part of their lives. This is a field where there are a lot of data gaps, like where do these animals go, what are they doing? And I'm able to use some neat technologies to figure that out. Traditionally, satellite tags have been too heavy to be able to put on small little turtles that are gonna be swimming. Anything that we put on them, we wanna make sure that they don't sink. With using solar tags that were actually developed for birds, we were able to minimize the size and the weight of the tags and put them on the turtles, but we had to figure out how to attach the tags so they'd stay on for more than you know, a few days. What we ended up doing is we worked in tanks and we tested a number of different methods. And initially we didn't have very much luck. The shells of the turtles are made of keratin, which is the same thing as our fingernails. So we ended up talking to a manicurist who recommended that we use an acrylic base coat. So these tags, when attached, will stay on for upwards of six months and we can track their long-term movements. These are the very first satellite tracks to examine the long-term movements of these lost year sea turtles. Before we had hypotheses on where they went based on opportunistic sightings and encounters, but with the satellite telemetry, we were able to see where they actually went and we can learn a lot more about their movements and behavior that way. Watch full episodes of SciTech Central Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. on WUCF-TV.